Abattoir, directed by Darren Lynn Boozman. And this one, I would say, has a very kind of a unique and darkly twisted story that I kind of don't remember seeing anything really like it before. And the story here focuses on this young woman who is an investigative reporter in the property market. And her family is murdered, basically. Her sister, her nephew and the, her brother-in-law, basically all murdered. Um, and she obviously understandably devastated. And it turns out that the actual room where the, uh, the murders took place has somehow vanished. And basically it turns out there is some kind of person who has been uh, purchasing properties where there's been a murder taking out the room and doing something with them basically and basically she uncovers the kind of the uh, the plots we find out this has happened throughout kind of like you know the last few decades basically and she's kind of drawn in with her kind of policeman boyfriend to what's actually happening and where are these kind of properties are going and does it kind of relate to her past so that's pretty much all i'll tell you about the plot so the big thing with this film i would say is definitely a very original plot and, and, and I can see that I don't remember ever sort of seeing anything like it before. It kind of reminded me of 13 Ghosts in a way I've got to say, but really the plot is, is significantly different from that. Um, so the, the, the best thing about this film I would say, well one of the best things is the kind of the original plot idea basically and the kind of the way that this kind of mystery happens. It's I would say less of a horror film to a certain degree, more of a kind of a supernatural mystery thriller. But it definitely has a, an original um, and very kind of stylistic approach to it. So the other thing I would say is kind of leading on from that. I feel the visuals here are very good, very kind of polished looking film. Uh, it really looks like it's you know it's had some love on it on the kind of production value kind of side of it. The set design looks fantastic. I think some of the visual effects are kind of very interesting as well. And we kind of do see the ghostly effects. We're still coming. Quite like the game, I've got to say, they kind of look kind of quite interesting, and the general conceit, as I say, is, is all very kind of original and interesting. Um, acting wise, I thought it was a, a passable film for the most part. Um, the, the acting here was all pretty good. I don't think it's you know it doesn't stand out particularly, but I would say it's you know very very acceptable for this kind of this kind of type of movie. On to the negatives, for me, the biggest one. Well, there's two really that I have. Um, first of all, the pacing of this film I felt was a little odd. Uh, because it seems to be very dense in the kind of the first act and in the second act it kind of meanders around a lot and the third act it kind of again starts to pick up the place but I felt it could have been a little bit more evenly paced because uh, I felt it's, it's kind of kind of hard to, fo to, to follow in certain places and then when we kind of get to the second act and it kind of doesn't go anywhere so it grinds to a halt and the other thing that kind of leads into that which is my other criticism I feel the plot is somewhat convoluted because of that uh, I feel that there's, there's areas of I don't really kind of understand why that's happening and you know um, how there's you, you will start to ask yourself questions and think I don't know there's some little plot points here that I feel that are, are not particularly uh, well defined and kind of maybe sort of glossed over but overall I've got to say I have to give it hats off for doing a kind of a very original take and as like a vision I think it's very good I don't think it's the most interesting of films if I'm completely honest but overall, I kind of I have to give it respect for uh, you know trying to make so out kind of outside the kind of the, the box really. So I want to give this movie a uh, a six point five out of ten. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave in the comments, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.